Hello everybody. I wanted to share my traveler's notebook setup that I'm using for my written journal. It's It's been a minute since I've talked about this particular TN and I thought an update was in order because I have been adding decoration to this. So this is my Chic Sparrow Maverick in the narrow size and this is in deluxe so this has the stitching with pockets on the inside i th this is an older maverick so it's not one of the newly released ones which is why it has the white stitching but i my inserts are pretty much the same i basically have an insert for my media journal, one for brainstorming, one for my daily journal, and one for my thought journal. I have a fifth insert that I thought I was going to maybe use as a commonplace book, but that's still kind of up in the air. And as far as the decor goes, I have some. <laughs> and I actually have some in the front, prestigious front area here. I... I had this area blank for the longest time. This glare is really annoying. Let's see if I can do something about that. That's better. Um, I had this blank for the longest time because I just didn't know what I was going to put here um, because I know this is sort of an honored area uh, because it's the first thing you know you flip to when you when you open up your TN. And obviously what I've decided is to kind of make it my seasonal holiday themed area that switches out um, fairly often because all of my other dashboards are pretty permanent. So what I have here, this is a, these dashboards, let me see, this is a Chic Sparrow one. It's in the personal size. And the rest of the dashboards I have in here are the standard size from Foxy Fix. So everything in this Halloween spread is from Michael's. Uh, this skull I actually cut out of a napkin. It was a Martha Stewart napkin for her Halloween line. And the webs here, the spider webs, are actually coasters from Martha Stewart as well. And then these, like, puffy 3D stickers. It was all in a set from Jolie's Boutique, you know, those really popular, uh, really common stickers. Um, and I found, you know, this haunted house one. And I did want to do a haunted house theme for this. And I was so happy I found this. It was the last pack of these particular stickers. So I grabbed it up and I'm so happy with the way this turned out. Obviously I went for cute and not just outright scary. I don't know. My tastes are kind of, kind of weird, but, um, th this spread, I love it. It makes me really happy. Um, inside this dashboard I just have a field notes it's the same field notes I've been rocking since I started making videos this is what I'm using as my media journal and I still haven't filled it up yet um, I, I was gonna actually once this was filled move into this blank insert that I have here but I think I'm gonna keep going with my field notes as my media journal because I just I'm really enjoying it and I'm running out of ways to use my field notes so I think I'm gonna continue with that and maybe do this dot grid insert as a commonplace book maybe try my hand with that um, I've had this in here for a little bit though, and apparently I'm just not learning anything, so I, I definitely have to work on that. Um, this die cut is from Hello Paper Cat. I will link all of the shops and everything in the description, um, but this was a freebie because I just received an order. Um, so that was very timely, and I didn't have anything at the back of this dashboard, so I stuck her there and so she's cute. See, I do have something cute. Uh, I don't usually go for cute, but um, she's in there because she was free and she's adorable. Um, so yeah, nothing on the back of that blank commonplace book, nothing in the back of there. And then 
I have my lovers spread. Uh, in my previous setup video of this, I, I actually had Elizabeth and Darcy on an entire spread and Claire and Jamie on their, on an entire spread as well. And I, I just put them each on on one page of a dashboard and I'm kind of loving how this is turning out. This spread is completely done and I could not love it more. Um, I actually kind of fussy cut around this uh, sticker. It's from Redbubble. It was just a, a rectangle. And then I have this felt heart doily I got from AC Moore. And then I got just regular paper doilies from AC Moore as well. And these uh, 3D stickers of the trees are from Jolie's Boutique as well. And what I did is I, I bought these trees initially for my Outlander spread. And I didn't like the way it worked on this darker background. And I kind of played with it with Elizabeth and Darcy and oh my gosh it totally resonated with me it just reminded me of how Elizabeth is always like walking through the beautiful English countryside with the big trees and I was like oh my gosh this is totally staying here um I had this background paper in before uh this scrapbook paper and what I did was I just kind of sliced a chunk off the edge here and put black cardstock behind there because I thought it just brought out the details of the of the lace and the doilies because it kind of disappears back here but I love how it you can see it on this edge um, so I love everything about this and these felt doilies came in a pack with a few different colors so I put one behind Jamie and Claire and I'm still on the lookout for like some plaid and I think I want to put like Craig Nadoon and find some like stone stickers or or something i'm probably gonna have to like make something and like maybe sassanac on there or something um so we will see um i love how it's coming along and it definitely makes me happy when i look at this spread uh nothing on the back of there this is my um brainstorming insert i don't have anything on the back of that dashboard and here so this is a dashboard from Hello Paper Cat, and it's it's meant for like a ring planner. Um, but I when I bought it, I just requested that it wasn't hole punched, so I could tip it in here. Um, this planner clip is from Paper Ennui on Etsy, and I just taped it in with some washi tape. And this is I it's from it's from a coloring book. A Crayola coloring book that was Harry Potter themed and so you know I just made it into a dashboard and cut out the other side to fit on the back of this personal sized dashboard with Luna she's my favorite character I love her so much and I absolutely love this illustration of her and for this side I this is actually um, my chic sparrow a little dashboard I have a target dollar spot sticky pocket on there um, I I am gonna cover up this side and I think what I'm gonna do is I've got Daenerys here so I feel like this is gonna be like my favorite blondes apparently <laughs> um, but I'm gonna make a spread with her here I think in some way this die cut is also from hello paper cat um, I love her realistic artwork um, of characters. They're just so beautiful. So, Chic Sparrow, and I have their um, business cards back there with their new feather stickers tucked in there as well. And this is my um, daily journal. So this is what I do, this is what I use for um, just writing in what happened during the day I write in here every single day this is like the 120 page Tomoe River paper insert from Paper Penguin Co on Etsy um, th this was another Tomoe River paper I think it's the 80 count one though um, from Paper Penguin Co as well 
This is actually just a plain paper insert that I got from when I ordered a Traveler's Notebooks from Lady Falcon Travelers. Um, you get a free uh, paper insert. And so I took off the cover that she had and put my black cardstock on it um, because I love me some black. Um, so that's what I'm using as my brainstorming insert and then my daily insert. And then this, oh wait, we have to dark. I still have my dark uh, spread here from the show on Netflix. Love it. And then I've been trying to work on my... <laughs> My Stranger Things insert, I don't know, or my Stranger Things spread. I don't know why this is so difficult for me. Um, but I've reduced it down to just the one page instead of having it on a two page spread here. Um, so, what I did was I made my little barb, uh, you know, thing here. Um, this is from Paper Ennui on Etsy, and all of the stickers are from Redbubble. And I just took scrapbook paper and laminated it. And I had it tipped in here, but the, I just used scotch tape and it totally ripped on me and it left all this like residue. So I'm gonna have to like take that off and then retape it with some washi, I think. Um, but so I found on scrapbook.com this really awesome Atari scrapbook paper. So I got that and made it into these dashboards and I love the way it came out. I still don't know what to do with all the stickers that I have from Redbubble. So what I did was I took just another clear Target dollar spot pocket and shoved them all in there, um, stuck the waffle in there and we, we will see. I will continue to play with that. Um, but Barb is looking good. Um, I love her layout. So, so happy with that. Um, nothing over here, nothing on the inside. This is my same thought journal. Um, still, still plugging away at it. Uh, I've got Sherlock here just hanging out. I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. We will see. I still have Jillian Owens here with the same. I just haven't worked on this one at all. Um, nothing in the secretarial pocket. So I'm really loving how all of these dashboards are coming along. They, they really make me happy and I'm glad I'm taking my time with them. Um, if you haven't seen any other setup videos of this, I basically had originally set this all up and I decorated really quickly with stuff that was readily available at the craft stores. So just random scrapbook papers, not really much of a theme going on. And I hated it so much and I tore everything out and have ever since then, I have been slowly adding all of these decorations and it's so thick and chunky, especially because I keep using these like 3D stickers. Um, but I think this setup is headed for change. I'm still going to have, you know, this traveler's notebook, but these inserts, I think I'm going to be doing some major rearranging. Um, but I, I just wanted to update on what it, it's currently looking like. I do think my, my daily journal, um, my inserts keep getting thicker and thicker for this. And so I think I've always just kind of been, been heading in the direction of getting a really thick notebook as a standalone apart from this whole TN setup. Um, so that's where this is probably headed is that this insert is gonna come out and I'm gonna move into like a really thick notebook for that. Um, but I will update that as we get there. Um, it's the month of Halloween. I'm excited to see everybody's setups and let me know if you do themed setups. If you have an Instagram account where you show that or you make videos as well, link it all in the description so I can peek in on all of that. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to connect with you guys and I will see you all in the comments. Bye.